going on to you Pisces so you have the lovers the five of Pentacles and the strength card so so for you Pisces this is about why it is that a lot of you Pisces would leave a relationship and how a person would end up really losing you the lovers represents they would have you at first and then they would essentially do a bunch of stupidness thinking that they were a little bit too good for you and made you feel disempowered while you were in a relationship with them or if not in a full-blown relationship getting to know them and you pisces decided to do the fish thing and swim away right swim away from the school so the strength card now represents how um because remember a lot of people forget that a shark is a fish a shark Sharks are also fishes and they're also different species of fish, right? So they think that for some odd reason, I don't know, I don't know why people do this, but they act like a fish is only like a, a moor fish, right? Like a moorish fish or like a gold fish or something like that or something. When they don't seem to understand that a great white shark is a fish, hammerhead, all, you know, most species of sharks are act, are actually fishes and that you pisces are very much so capable of being without a relationship just as much as you are being in one but a lot of people forget that right and they also forget that you come from the opposite you you're pulling from the opposite polarity of virgo right which is to be which is to be the quote unquote virgin i.e the truest definition of it means to be unmarried or to be the bachelor or the bachelorette. So a lot of times people overplay their hand and they think that you need them when you want them around and to a certain extent you need them as far as, yes, it takes two to be in a relationship, but need them as far as necessity, like to live, that's not really true. The five of pentacles and the judgment is about, excuse me, the 10 of pentacles and the judgment is about you still have your own family members, right? But you, but on top of that, right, that you can rely on. But also, you know, this speaks to how you're trying to create your own. And unfortunately, right, you have to drop down the hammer and 86, right, get out of there, 86 relationships because people take the, 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 the acting too far. They act like you're better, excuse me, that they're better. They act like that they're so superior and them acting like they're superior, going out of their way to show you just superior how they are. Like there's a, I see that's what I'm talking about. Like power is a fine line and a person who does too much in the sense of trying to do too much to prove how superior they are actually is is a is is not really a flex and this is just pay attention pisces to how many people in this world try to do too much fake flexing doesn't matter how much money the person has or how much money the person doesn't have a real test of nobility in a, in an aristocracy is how a person treats you or how a person treats themselves and others regardless of whether or not they have money so when a person gets on and then they have money or they they have some sort of leverage. They, they may have people that are like paying them attention and they start treating you terribly and you are always with them and, and next to them and you, are, you always had their back. That goes to show you that you can't really trust them like that because that's something that they always wanted to do. They always wanted to flex on you. Now, that's the same type of mentality that, that unfortunately a lot of people have. And a lot of people, unfortunately, will move with you. So you, you, you feel like you constantly have to shut people up because they be taking the, the, the delusion too far, right? They're taking it too far. Then you have the Six of Pentacles with, while overlooking the value that you yourself actually bring to the table, right? trying to play like they are royalty but end up playing themselves so the six of wands represents they can act like they're royalty fly and all this other type of mess but what happens when when 
the person that they're trying to show uh, show up and, and get one over and lord over refuses not to participate. You know what I mean? Now all of a sudden it's like power is gone. So now the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands is about if any of you Pisces dealing with somebody like that, you may want to get away from them. For any of you Pisces who are not dealing with anybody and you're and you are single as of this moment, right? And you're not talking to anybody, then this is something in which you have to take you have to keep in mind of who has the power here. The answer is both of you, you know? Anytime the person starts start, starts acting like they too good. Those are people who got problems. They they got some serious problems. Because why would you put yourself in a position in the first place to be well off just to stunt on people in the first place? Like who says that type of stupid stuff to themselves? Like, yeah, I can't wait until I have I can't wait until I have millions of dollars in the bank or millions of dollars in, in, in assets so I could start humiliating people. It's like a person who starts thinking like that, they've got some serious issues. Factually, they've got some serious issues because how that makes sense to them goes to show you that they're not in their right state of mind. You know what I mean? They, you know what I'm saying? They've, you know, they've got some stuff going on with them. And then the thing about it is that the Empress represents, you know, they're, they're you know, some of these people that you were trying to get to know for some of you Pisces, they've been doing that to a lot of their would-be partners for a while, where they act like they're so much better than them. But for some odd reason, you Pisces were were different in the sense that a lot of you Pisces who are caught up in this situation, you decided to actually take or maintain your own dignity and leave. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you wanted to get to know them, but you don't want to get to know them that bad to the point where you will allow yourself to be humiliated and and debased and 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 completely disempowered and 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 treated like trash just because you know they're trying to dangle what they think that you're with them for in front of your face and this is what separates you away from a lot of other people that may have been hanging out with this person in the first place but for you single Pisces, that's probably why it is that you're single. The fact that even though you may not have necessarily been in a relationship with anybody or trying to get to know them, trying to get anybody, trying to get to know anybody fairly recently, that's always the thing, right? That's always the problem. The problem is, and, and I've noticed this as a Pisces ascendant myself, and I have a Virgo son, right? Virgo, I'm a Virgo, but I have a Pisces ascendant is that power dynamic. It's like, why is it that the, the vast majority of when people interact with each other, it's always somebody got to be the player and somebody got to get played. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I either need to do it to you or you're going to do it to me. And it's like, that's stupid. And anybody who plays those types of games, they're not really on point. They're not really on, they're not really on point because this is what I'm talking about. You know, see, people make it seem as if decency is some form of like, like you can get, you could go long term without when you can't. You know what I mean? Like you, you will, somebody will disrespect you, Pisces, but then they may need you somewhere along those lines. And then now they look stupid. So let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Five of Cups, yeah, King of Wands, Nine of Wands, yeah, because you, Pisces, pulling from the opposite polarity of Virgo, you're very dedicated. When you love somebody and you choose to be loyal, like anyone can make that choice, right? Loyalty is a choice. You, Pisces, can be very devoted to the people that you find yourself trying to get to know. And you do, you go the extra mile in ways that a lot of other zodiac signs may not. The King of Wands and the Knight of Wands is about, and so now, because they're missing, because when people underestimate your value and they end up treating you like trash and you go away, that's the Five of Cups now, and, and the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands is about them missing you, but them also needing to 
hold on to this front of they have you up underneath their control. So even when they try to, they would want you back, the way that they sometimes interact with you, Pisces, right, would still come from a perspective of like, um, you need to come back now, like you're some sort of dog or something like that. Pisces are not dogs. You, you feel what I'm saying? You Pisces are not dogs. So it's like these people that you were you were talking to is, you know, you weren't even in anything serious with them as of yet. A lot of you. You were just talking to someone. Just now starting to hang out with them. You know, a lot of you Pisces relationships you probably your last relationships was probably over a year ago and you've just been dating and a lot of you pisces have been seeing what it is that i was just talking about a lot of people are weirdos because they i don't know they have this 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 un this unjustifiable superiority complex that they're looking to project onto other people and for some odd reason well, no, I know what it is. We're in the age of Aquarius now. So now the stupidity that the age of Pisces, right, ironically, would have held up with the hidden hands and the, 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 the tactics and the games that people play. It doesn't hold up anymore because now it's about priorities. You know, now it's about priorities. It's like you could play games and waste time BSing or you can stop BSing establish yourself, establish the relationship, establish your family members and get rich doing it. It's up to you.